We now return to Sesame Street, now on HBO. Oh, hi, you guys. How was school? Honestly, Mom, today was kind of weird. Every kid in school had to write a list of five reasons Principal Shepard is cool and then have their parents sign it. What? That seems crazy. One time I saw him pee in a urinal with his hands on his hips. That's pretty boss. Why would the principal make all the students do that? I don't know. I think he's going through a tough time. He's in the middle of a bad divorce. What? How do you know that? He's actually been pretty open about it. Good morning, students. Today at 3.30, James Woods High will be hosting a cross-country meet, which also happens to be where Lorraine has threatened to take my children across the country. And here's today's Tuesday trivia question. Does this sound like yelling? Because apparently this sounds to some people like yelling. All right, finally, some peace and quiet so I can buckle down and get some writing done. Hey, Bonnie. What? Listen to this. Say it's all been a pack of lies. What? Why? Just do it. Just say it's all been a pack of lies. It's all been a pack of lies. That sounded really good. Thanks, babe. Hey, you know what that song's about? Phil Collins watching some guy watch another guy drown. And then the next night, he invited the watching guy to be in the front row of his concert so he could sing it right to him and they could arrest the guy. Really? Why wouldn't he have just helped the guy who's drowning? I don't know. I think he was on a bridge or something. Like, he could see it, but he couldn't get there in time. But he let a whole day pass? Why didn't he call the cops? Because he was busy writing the song. Wait. If he just watched, doesn't that also make him a little guilty? Look, I'm not saying we wouldn't bring Phil Collins in for questioning. I feel like maybe this story is bogus. Now, hang on, let me check Snopes. Yeah, none of that happened. <sighs> hey, what's up? Well, I'm trying to work on a sequel to The Old Man and the Sea. Are you, are you allowed to do that? But I can't get anything done. It's so damn loud around here. Oh, yeah, that's what Hemingway used to complain about. This Spanish Civil War is just too loud. How am I supposed to get anything done? No, I mean, it might sound silly, but I used to daydream that by now I'd have my own place by a lake somewhere. An oasis where I could go to write, pay the bills by renting out the rooms. Oh, like a B&B? &B? That could be fun. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and me opening a B&B. &B. Are you serious? That'd be great. Sure, it'll be fun. All right, let's give it a try. Can't be any worse than when I was on the night's watch. Hey, guys, do you all want to say the oath again? For the watch. For the watch. For the watch. Hi, Brian. I'm the boring storyline of the fat guy that's watching that girl. And I'm ballers. Ow! I totally get it. You're right to do this. Well, well, if it isn't Meg Griffin. Leave me alone, you guys. Relax. We're taking the day off from bullying. Oh, thank God. Very funny. Who put the Ark of the Covenant in here? <laughs> <laughs> Meg is so stupid. She couldn't handle the glory of God's love. Students, faculty, and staff of James Woods High, does anyone know how to push down the back seat of a Highlander? I know I can make a bed in there, I just don't know how. Oh my god, Principal Shepard, what's wrong? I just listened to two hours of butt-dialed sex between my wife and the ADT alarm guy. Why didn't you just hang up? Because I missed the sound of her voice! <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Principal Shepard, your wife is on the line. She says, uh, uh, oh god, harder. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Stick around.